This is a beginner cybersecurity specialization that is so easy to get into, it's ridiculous, but most people don't even notice it because they're so focused on all the flashy ethical hacking jobs or those highly paid senior security analyst roles. So much so that they miss out on what could very well be the fastest way to get your foot in the door in cybersecurity because this specialization doesn't need any experience degrees or certification. In fact, last week we hired the guy at the company that I worked for to do this very specialization. We can call him Dan. He's 33 years old and he's been working in a warehouse since he finished high school so he doesn't have any degree or experience or any IT knowledge for that matter. Now before we get into this specialization let me tell you a little bit about Dan. He wanted a career change so bad to improve his lifestyle, his financial situation and also his health. We will get into that in a moment but the biggest hurdle that faced him when he was trying to get into cybersecurity is the lack of experience. Companies usually have a laundry list of requirements. They want certifications, they want degrees, they want five or even ten years of experience and it can be very disheartening for someone who have none of that. But the problem with Dan also is he actually didn't have the finances or even the time to work on degrees or certifications. He works long hours at the warehouse and by the end of the day he's physically exhausted that he can't bring himself to study or even do a degree part-time. Now Dan told me that he recently injured his low back and he simply couldn't afford to stay any longer in his warehouse job. He really needed that career change and he wanted something he's passionate about that will improve his life but also improve the life of his family and their financial situation and something that he could do long term that doesn't influence his physical health. So three months ago, the company that I worked at, we advertised for a cybersecurity analyst role similar to the one that I talked about here in this video. The role wasn't very junior but it wasn't very senior either. So we wanted someone with some cybersecurity skills but also we wanted someone with little bit of Splunk knowledge. Now we got so many applicants and we interviewed them and we looked at Dan's CV and at the time we knew that he doesn't qualify for the job but we were curious to see what was his intentions and why he wanted to work in this role knowing that he simply doesn't have the background. And when we interviewed him we politely let him know that we actually are looking for someone with a little bit of knowledge and Splunk and to our surprise he was actually extremely nice and extremely polite and also extremely professional. He was honest about his lack of experience but he also told us the story of his low back issues and his plans for a career change. And what I really liked about him is that in the interview he was open and honest and he asked me on what he can do to improve his chances of landing a job in cyber security whether it's with our company or even a different organization. And my advice to him was to get involved more in the community, go to events, to go to meet up, just meet more people, talk to more people who work in the field and get their advice. And he actually started going to those events and I know that because few weeks later to my surprise I saw him again in the same company that I work at because we had an event that evening and I thought I will never see him because most people just apply for one or two jobs and if they get rejected they get disheartened and they just quit altogether but again he was very polite very professional uh, really eager to learn eager to help but also uh, at the same time he was starting to face an even bigger problem you see as Dan started going to meetups and events some of the topics were simply too hard for him so some of the topics were so technical they were discussing some sophisticated cyber attacks, they were talking about penetration testing or vulnerability management or some topics were simply too technical for him so he doesn't really know what a reverse malware engineering is for example. And as a beginner and as someone without degree this has hit his confidence. He felt that he doesn't know enough, he's got even a bigger imposter syndrome and at some point he thought that this is just too hard, maybe it's not for him, maybe he's too old for it. Fortunately for Dan and before he, he was about to give up he actually went to an event run by Microsoft and that event was about phishing. Now Dan actually had some background in phishing because he himself was a victim of a phishing attack a few years ago. He said that at the time he got his email password stolen and he actually learned a little bit about what phishing is and in fact that was what sparked his interest in cybersecurity. So in that event he actually learned that phishing is a specialty within cybersecurity. Some companies need people to just respond to phishing. That area of work we refer to it as security education awareness or or security culture in some companies or even security influencer. That role consists of a group of individuals who launch simulated phishing campaigns or sometimes contribute to knowledge-based articles on the internet or sometimes they do user training or lunch online sessions. Now this is something that Dan can definitely do and he's mature enough and he conducts himself really well and to Dan's luck the team that I work in was expanding and we needed someone to do just that. Which is tricky because a lot of people simply don't want to do this job. They can view it as something
something that's boring, repetitive, they want to do all these flashy ethical hacking jobs or forensic jobs. But Dan was actually mature enough. His age and his life experience taught him that this kind of role is something that's valuable. It can get his foot in the door, but it can also change his financial and health situation. And he was one of the first people that we called to interview for this role. And I was so happy that he got it. And in the interview, he expressed his desire to learn a little bit of ethical hacking, a little bit of forensic, and we are very supportive. So I told him now that he got his foot in the door in cybersecurity, he can definitely do that, whether it's during working hours or even after work, because he will no longer be tired. And the most important thing that he continuously displayed was politeness, humbleness. He was very humble, down to earth, and also always willing to learn and was so honest about his lack of knowledge in IT. Now, if you are a beginner or someone who doesn't have any degree or any IT knowledge and you're just curious about cybersecurity and you're wondering where to start, in this video, I created a step-by-step -step plan for you, for someone who doesn't have a degree and doesn't have any IT background. This will get you started in cybersecurity and from there you can learn and grow and choose a specialization, whether it's education awareness or any other specialization. I'll see you there.